what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber welcome i am donano and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back um wow i've seen a lot of activity on this channel in the past week i just want to say thank you guys for all your comments and you know your engagement so if you hear any noises or see random people in the background you know it's the holidays the brother is here and yeah it's just visiting um for the holidays so don't be alarmed i'm not living with a man <laughs> my brother's actually just here for the holidays so anyway um today i want to address so someone asked me like what kind of apartments can you buy when you're starting out not buy i mean <laughs> rent when you starting out um the kind of cars that you can consider so i decided you know what i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna do a video on that because for me as well it was quite difficult to like decide what kind of place i'm gonna stay at to also decide um you know the kind of stuff i'm gonna buy and stuff like that so i'm actually quite sad that i'm doing this video after black friday because there could have been so much you could have bought um on black friday if you did think about it to buy like some furniture um during black friday where there was like massive sales then you you could have done that but it's not a train smash it's still the first of season and you can definitely still get um furniture at discounted prices um so yeah let's get on so, to the video when i started out when i was in city a and um i needed to move from the university environment to now like get an apartment or get a flat or whatever so what i did is in my cta year um leading up to black friday so obviously i've always been a saver and i've always been saving i've always had like like a savings type of situation so i was saving and i was putting away money because i knew that at the end of my cta year i would have to move out of race i would have to buy a bed or to buy a couch buy a tv you know all of those necessities and so i saved so during my city a year um i saved a little more extra um and and don't get me wrong i wasn't getting like money massive money from home i think when i was in city a i was getting around two thousand rand every month as a uh, a living allowance for my parents it wasn't much but <laughs> i made it work i think the one thing that helped is the fact that um i stayed in race uh so wait no what am i saying i the first attempt when i did cta if you're on my channel you know that i felt cta and i've repeated if you knew now you know um <laughs> the first time i did cta i stayed in race right but it was a self-catering race so it was not I, I didn't get food from race i still had to buy my own groceries and stuff like that the only thing that i had was like a shelter like a bed and a desk and you know i still had to buy everything so yeah i stayed in race and that helped but in my second attempt i moved to a bachelor flat and uh i yeah i was on my own basically so one thing that helped me is the fact that when i moved to the bachelor flat i then bought a bed i bought a fridge um but i still had those bar fridges once so yeah i had a bed and a fridge and those were the two appliances that i had uh at race when i moved into racing my first year i bought a microwave like a tiny little microwave which was like necessary so i had those three things i had a bed i had a fridge and i had a microwave so um now in my city a year when i when i saw that i'd have to move to an apartment i needed to get like the rest of the stuff you know i needed to get like a washing machine because the place i was moving to didn't allow like hand wash and stuff and even if it did i don't think i would have had the time to actually hand wash my laundry so i just decided you know what i'm gonna save up for a washing machine so i saved up uh black friday i bought a washing machine i bought a tv and what else yeah i bought like necessities like pots but most of the stuff came from home uh i went home and i took my mother's pots i took my mother's plates i took my mother's mugs and 
teaspoons so you know if you can sponge off from home when you're starting out do that it helps save a lot and you it helps you to save so you can buy the better quality that we want i know our mothers used to have these funny little mugs like from back in the 80s you know i got those i brought those and i still have them but i think i realized okay you know what i need to change so i need to save up and buy what i want so but yeah if you can save up save up and buy the important things first for me what was important was a bed but i already had that um when i was in cta so it didn't matter when i was now moving but definitely a bed is gonna be important like necessary stuff you don't need to buy like a 60 inch curve tv smart thing no like you just need something to watch the news or watch whatever you watch on tv you do not have to get a dstv if your parents do have a dstv you can get the app and then if your tv is smart you can connect it to your tv um yeah that that's what i i did for the first few months until i was okay to like get my own decoder and pay for my own subscription so yeah that's that in terms of apartments um when i moved from pretoria i moved to Randburg because i thought it would be closer to the office um so i rented an apartment there i think according to my opinion disclaimer this is my opinion right if you can get an apartment right get an apartment between somewhere in the price ranges of okay let me not give you a price let me give you a maximum right obviously this will depend on your affordability if you can afford a little more then it's fine but i think for an apartment guys you don't have to say in anything fancy i think 4.5 maximum will do it uh for an apartment obviously you can get like a one bedroom you can get like a bachelor and stuff like that so i don't know if i'm being too optimistic i don't know if you can get apartments for like 4.5 but i think you can remember you don't need to live in like fancy neighborhoods and and stuff like that you just need a place where you can chill for like three years which is decent which is safe always consider security because if you're going into audit uh, actually in any kind of work you might have to come back home a bit late you might have to work a bit late so look for a place that will be safe for you to drive at night for safe for you to like live you know like normally so i moved to Renbeck. it was a fairly very nice neighborhood i actually liked it and i could stay there for three years but then i had to move out because it was closer to the office but it was so far from my clients and i spent 90 percent of the year at the client right so it didn't make sense for me to travel like 100 kilometers to get to the client um which i spent like most of the time there so i had to move closer to the client so i relocated but yeah you don't have to get anything expensive some people uh do not like sharing if you're like me and you do not like sharing you can get a place for yourself you can get a nice bachelor apartment i'm not sure how much they go for these days um the one i was at in pretoria was going for four thousand back in the day well it wasn't that long ago but <laughs> yeah i don't know how much bachelor apartments are but you can consider a bachelor or a one bedroom if you don't have a problem with sharing i think sharing is the best option because you help each other buy the furniture to furnish the place you help each other with the rent the electricity the water like the bells and jay is shared so if you don't mind sharing i think that's a good option as well just be be careful when you're sharing and when you're buying the furniture do not co-buy something so if you need a tv and a couch and a fridge and a microwave let one per let one person buy something and then you buy something that makes it easier because when you not decide to move out i know that i bought the couch so i'm gonna take the couch you bought the the fridge you're gonna take the fridge it's it's quite a hustle when you now have to move out and then you both chipped in on the tv and then now who's gonna take the tv you now have to sell the tv to get the money it's just it's a lot of admin so just rather decide okay you will buy the couch i will buy this and then when you split you can take whatever you bought so yeah that's apartments in terms of a car um no wait before i move on to the car with apartments if you're going to work with clients or you're going to one of the big fours and you know you're going to be traveling to clients please do not 
I don't know if it's possible for them to let you know what clients you have so you know where they are so you live closer to them because I feel like I fell into the trap of moving closer to the office which was actually far from my client so I had to move again and moving has a lot of costs so if you can find out where your clients are before you decide on moving to to an apartment do that find out where they are and then move closer to where the client is because I promise you you will probably spend 10% of the year at the office um, and you spend the rest of the time at the client so you want to be traveling like closer distances for most of the time because traffic in Joburg is quite hectic so yeah that's it with apartments I think um, um, okay so with a car right definitely you will need a car yes it is a need okay if you are gonna be in audit you will definitely need a car so what you need to do is you need to balance your finances between paying rent and paying living expenses and buying a car the thing is it's difficult right because your clients might be in the east let me give you me for for an example my clients are in the east and without a car it's hard to get there there is no train there's no and when i mean train i mean car train it doesn't go to the east Catching a taxi is, is a possibility, but it's also very inconvenient. Remember, you need to make it on time. You might be working late. You might be working overtime. You will need transport to get back home. So definitely getting a car is a need. Um, for most of the people who bought cars in the first in this first year of articles, they bought cars um, for like most of my friends that I asked um, about bought cars less than 200,000 rand. So if you can get any car less than 200,000 in your first year, then it should be fine. Do not be scared to buy demo cars. I think demo cars are good. They they have a bit of uh, kilometers on the odometer, but it, it's not bad, you know. But you need to go there. If you're buying a used car, you need to go there with somebody who knows cars and somebody who can help you analyze this car and see if it's a good deal or not. Um but yeah definitely you will need a car guys so you need to balance your finances between your rental your living expenses and your car just do not buy anything exotic anything extra you still have like the rest of your life to upgrade you know and a lot of people do upgrade after three years so there's really no point in you trying to buy like the latest gti obviously if you can afford it feel free to buy it so yeah, that's my advice. Uh, I can't really speak a lot about the car. I didn't have to buy a car when I started out because I already had a car from home, right? My parents bought me a car when I was 21 and stuff. This is my brother. Please do not take note. Um, so yeah, uh, I didn't have to buy a car when I started out. So I already had a car uh, that my parents had bought for me as a gift. And I'm very grateful for that because it made my life uh, definitely easier moving into the work environment. I had I'd already had a car, so I could I was already already an experienced um, driver, so I didn't need to start from scratch. If you do not have your license, please do use these holidays to get a license. Um, you're gonna need it. I know some companies do offer to pay for your driving school so take also that opportunity and they record they do this because they recognize that the nature of the job needs you to have a car and it needs you to be mobile right so yeah definitely a lot of people bought cars this year did their driver's license and it's it's been great so i don't know if this helps if it does leave a comment down below let me know what your thoughts are if you've started out already uh, what kind of apartments did you look into? Uh, did you buy a car? You know that type of thing, but otherwise I will see you guys in my next video next week um, Thank you guys for subscribing if you haven't already do hit the subscribe button uh, Like my video if you really enjoyed it and it was helpful to you. I will see you guys next week Bye